Hey guys, Adrian here, and today we're taking a look at My Brushes by Effect Matrix. This is a $20 graphing and design application that is one of the most popular painting apps over on the iOS platform, now ported to that of the Mac. And one of the biggest things about My Brushes is it's a graphic and you know imaging editing tool. Um, you have the layer system, all the awesome stuff. But the big features here, it provides an unlimited size canvas, so you can have an awesome all-in-one canvas, unlimited size, you know, you're not limited to just a portion or a resolution, you can just keep on building off of that. You have unlimited layers, unlimited undo slash redo steps, so really it's essentially the best platform for your creativity. You can just go out there, create, you don't have to worry about restrictions, messing up, you know, you can go back, unlimited steps, unlimited layers, so you can really, again, the possibilities are endless for your creations from paintings to photo editing. So let's go ahead and tour around the interface real quick. At the top here you have your standard uh, you know menu uh, system it's really simple they do a good nice job of keeping it uh, elegant while providing a lot of tools here you have your option to do a new image open up a certain project or image here save it export it and they have a uh, ability to export as a PNG file and you can export as one big image or you can actually export as several blocks of images uh, to make up one larger image for like a poster or something if you want to do that or you know print something out um, and without losing quality so it has a really good job of exporting fi files and that sort of stuff you have undo redo which again I mentioned you have unlimited of those so you don't have like a you know some standard applications only let you do like three or four times this allows you to go back as far as you want here so it's really cool on the right here you can adjust the interface just by tagging or untoggling these things right here so you can make them hide or unhide you have your three basic things here you have your toolbar of course with your paint brushes your eraser eye dropping tools text all that good stuff so I can you know show you a couple of these they have over hundreds and hundreds of brushes here so you can see me just drawing here with uh, a couple of brushes here I'm gonna go ahead and change it up again you have all these crazy styles of brushes here you can see um, I can jump for all these different brushes here I can do all these you know crazy lines and all that um, and you can just see here on the side how I can just you know make all these random patterns right here on the left I can make all these lines right here um, and I can do things like this that kind of smudge D lines here. So this is obviously just, you know, a bunch of scribble scrabble, but I can undo all of it as you can see here. I can go back and undo it all. And you can also adjust the, the size of the brushes and all that in terms of how you want it to look. So you can adjust the radius, the opacity, the pressure, the hardness. So you really get to get the brush just how you like it. So if you want it to kind of be pencil thin, if you want it to be kind of much more thicker radius, as you can see there, adjust the hardness. You can, you know, really, really adjust it to how you want it. And of course, you can do things like erase. You can do things like the eyedropper tool. And you can throw text on here. So test, for example, I can throw text. I have the ability to also add effects to certain layers and of course just move certain elements around so if I want to move the image around I can easily just do that you can see here I can just move it uh, to where I want it now it also supports layers as long as you, you can see your color wheel right here as I mentioned you also have layers what layers are it's a uh, pretty advanced editing technique you'll see this stuff in like Photoshop and stuff like that basically think of it like real life you have certain layers of paper this is allows you to edit specific things of your image and keep it separate from others so for example I have this background here I can change it they have their own backgrounds that you can choose from here so I can adjust the background I can have this text right here you can see how the text is on top of this drawing layer well if I was to take that text layer and drop it below where I drew those scribble scribble lines here uh, you'll see that the text kind of um, you were in this case that it's not too faded let me draw something darker here maybe in a darker blue here so and let me adjust the opacity so it's really dark so you can see here in this case you can see that the text gets faded out because the drawing layer is on top of the text but if I was to do that the opposite take the text on top you can see the text now stands out because it's on top so that's how layers work it just like in real life it just it gives you separate uh, canvases to work on essentially for your layers um, or for your edit your picture you can really get creative with that and separate elements of your picture um, like I said, you have text input, you have all the good stuff, you have a really awesome feature that allows you to play back your um, your creation here. So this is really cool. What you can do here, I can hit play, and you can see now what it's going to do is it's going to recreate uh, what I was doing uh, on in terms of the drawing. I can choose to restart this, you know, go back. I can play it at certain speeds here, so I can play it super fast if I wanted to. And this is just going to essentially load a certain project or anything like that. You can load your drawing and have it shown what, you know, again, you can jump back to that certain point within that drawing. So for example, here, let me just show you here. If I take this pencil and I draw like this and leave it and then I go to this play button and hit play, what you'll see here, or what you're supposed to see, yeah there you go, is you'll see me drawing here. So in the other, this now, in this case you'll see what I just drew and it saves it just like that. Super simple, super easy. And what's cool, again, like I said, at any point in this thing, if I restart it, 
I can jump to where I want. So for example, I'll pause right here and I'll say jump to this part in the layer and it'll give me that part in that in the picture I was drawing. So if I kind of want to restart from where I left off or at a certain part in the drawing, I can just start from there. Really, really awesome, really cool guys. And again, it's the possibilities are really endless with this application. You can really create some really cool creative stuff here. So this is my brushes guys. It is $20 in the Mac App Store. Definitely worth checking out again. My brushes, find it in the App Store today.